Sportsman's Junction. Uh, welcome to to my workshop. It's uh, back here in my backyard, San Antonio, Texas. Um, this morning, gonna do something a little different. Gonna do our first uh, first gear video. Um, I it got this new tool in the mail yesterday from the guys over at Lid Rig, and um, we're. Uh, Going to take some time to, to open this thing up, show you guys, you know, some of the features of it. Um, what it is is a high-end line nipper system, or uh, you know, line cutter. I know fishing guys, you know, down here carry toenail clippers or a pair of scissors or a pocket knife or just use their teeth or whatever. Um, but this kind of thing is real big. These high-end ones are real big in the fly fishing community. And the guys over at Lid Rig have, uh, they're kind of trying to change the game by removing uh, mechanical parts, um, by making these things harder to lose. Um, and we'll kind of get into how they do that, but a lot of it is uh, based on magnets. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, open this sucker up. Um, comes, you know, in a nice, nice little box here everything looks pretty clean um, get that out of the way got the magnetic nipper system so you open this thing up um, oh cool they put a little decal in there for you um, we'll just stick that there with the other decals so it looks like we've got some kind of a instruction manual which I'm not going to use because that's just the way I am. Um, and then the nippers themselves. So, so this is the lid rig nipper system. Um, it's all magnet powered. So there's no springs, no mechanical parts other than the hinge, I guess you could consider a mechanical component um, and no removable blades. So we've got that part, this part here, the main action, nipper action. Um, and I gotta say, it looks pretty, pretty cool, pretty clean. Um, you know, I've personally never used like a high-end pair of line nippers before, but this seems pretty slick. Um, you know, it's the whole using uh, opposing sides of the magnet or whatever to to get you that kind of like springish action without using a spring that's pretty cool um so go ahead and set this down and then get out the the lid rig clip uh this is the part that would fit on on your hat you know it would be kind of like a, a golf tee or a golf ball uh, marker clip or whatever, you know, just clip on your hat. Kind of like those old the bent over fishing hooks that were so popular back in the day. Um, cool thing about this, you can probably kind of tell from the, the video, but I'll try to, you know, shift it around so you can see, but this is a diamond plated or diamond crusted or whatever. So it's actually a sharpening tool. So, you know, if your, if your lid rig ever gets dull, just give it a scrape on there um sharpen you right up you know when you're out in the in the water or in the field or whatever and then this part's kind of neat it's a uh, bottle opener built into the clip itself um and then since this is magnetic um you just pop it on there and you're good to go so thought is that you clip this onto your uh your hat and just pretend this is your hat and then you've got access to your nippers out in the water in the field whatever they're in a place where they're out of the way and this magnet is is pretty strong strong enough that you're not going to lose it um so it kind of like prevents the uh one of the main pitfalls of carrying around a pocket knife or a, you know a pair of toenail clippers or whatever which is that they're easy to lose track of. Um, I'm 
pretty impressed with like the strength of the magnets here. I like the, you know, I think the, the look of it is pretty cool, pretty slick. Definitely have that like eye catch factor of like, hey, what, what you got on your hat, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it's a well thought out tool in that it has the, the diamond crusted deal there so that you can sharpen your tools or your your uh, nippers out in the field should they ever get dull. And then uh, we uh, brought, got, have my, one of my tackle boxes here. So kind of just give you an idea if you're, you know, new to the channel or new to uh, fishing, etc. kind of how they work. So just take your nippers and uh, like say you've got all this extra line, boom, there you go. Trim it off, you know, use it to trim off um, leftover knots, that kind of thing. Just get all that extra fishing line off of there. Um, yeah, I think, think it's pretty cool little tool. So a couple other things about this. Um, other than the fact that there's no spring, you know, you've got the sharpener, the bottle opener built in, is you can probably see this little portion right here. Um, that is actually a, and I, I don't know if I have any hooks small enough that this would be handy, but for like fly fishing guys, that kind of thing, when you've got really small eyelets, that's a hook eyelet cleaner. So you would just, you know, if you got gunk down in there or whatever, um, take your, pull your lid, lid rig off your hat and, uh, just give it a quick poke through there, clean out your, your hook eyelet, which I think is, is pretty, a pretty thoughtful little feature of this thing. Um, now the other thing that's kind of cool about it, you might've noticed with that hook, um, and this, you know, these are large hooks, so this isn't the best example, but like, let's say you are out fishing, whatever, um, maybe you had an extra hook or an extra fly or lure or whatever, it's not going anywhere. You know, you could just pop it on there um, and probably not gonna lose that hook. It'll be easy access for you wherever you decide to put your lid rig, lid rig whether it be whether it be on the hat uh, via the clip or, you know, on a little lanyard, because there is plenty of room to get a, like paracord or leather strap or whatever through there if you're the, you know, tied around your neck kind of guy. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty impressed with this little thing. It's um, definitely a, it's a new to me kind of tool. Um, now I'll be um, transparent. The the cost of this little thing surprised me, but um, when talking to Scott over at Lid and Rig, he actually uh, told me that they're kind of on the low end of uh, high end nippers. So like Sims has some that that aren't nearly as uh, well thought out as these, and they they cost about. I don't know, ten dollars more than these do. So these retail at about seventy-five dollars. Um, you know, lots of fishing and tackle shops um, across like Colorado and then sort of up in the Northeast are carrying them. I think he mentioned that like Bass Pro slash Cabela's is supposed to start carrying them. So you'll be able to find them anywhere, but you can always go to uh, to lidrig.com uh, and buy straight from straight from Scott and his team and. Uh, they don't sponsor this video, by the way. I mean, other than like sending me the, the thing, they uh, they don't even know that I'm doing this. So hopefully, hopefully they like it and hopefully they can, uh, you know, get some, some traffic from it. But anyway, so this is the first thing they sent. Uh, another really cool little piece of this is these um, lid rig docking decals that they sent. Um, and this is basically like if you're, if you're a GoPro person, um, 
you're familiar with how they've like kind of adapted like the 3M um, model of like the command strip hooks where you just like stick them on and then whenever you're done you, you pull them and, and it comes off but for the most part they'll stick on there forever so this is kind of the same deal uh, it's got the red back that hides the adhesive and then this is a magnetic or a metal plate um, so you can stick this to the side of your ice chest you can stick it to the side of your canoe um, stick it to the glove box of your 4x4 or your UTV or Polaris or whatever um, and then that way you know if you needed another another place for this or if you um, you know had like extra pairs of these for some reason you could just pop it right on it's not going anywhere um, so I think that this this little like optional docking station deal the uh, docking decal is a, is a super cool idea as well it takes this lid rig from like being already being incredibly useful from the bottle opener to the sharpening plate to the lack of mechanical parts um, to the eyelet cleaner to a whole new level of like okay well now you can take it with you you know out in the field or, or wherever else anywhere that you want to stick one of these little docking details decals and these are going for 12 bucks on the lid rig site so i definitely think if you're going to spend the money on uh on the rig itself and the clip you might as well um spend the extra 12 dollars and get the, the docking decal because these i can see how these would be super super handy um in a lot of different situations and then the uh the third thing they sent which like i'm pretty excited about and i think is a really cool idea is this uh mag wrap so i'm gonna open this up real quick because it's like really brittle like crinkly plastic i don't want to try to talk over it So this is, do you remember those, uh, you guys probably, everybody probably remembers those, those crunchy things from, from back in the day, you know, you just like snap it around your wrist and you're good to go. So that's what the wrap part of this is. Um, it's a little bit more heavy duty because it's, it's coated in um, this rubbery material. And then on it, underneath this blue, I think this is a blue like cover. Okay, yeah, uh, underneath that, this reflective plate um, is very much got like a Apple watch kind of look to it. You snap it on and you know, it kind of looks like, like a watch band or whatever. Um, but this thing is also magnetic. So, you know, obviously you could hook your lid rig up to it, which is cool, but um, it's itself is magnetic so it doesn't depend on, on these magnets so if you're out fishing you know you you're changing lures or whatever maybe you're using little tiny uh components there you go well that's a pretty heavy pretty heavy jig there but um so probably not this is super heavy and pretty slick oh that that's what it problem was this part's not magnetic so this is a heavy like jigging lure um, and yeah so you can use this little mag wrap to keep your stuff organized keep it from falling in the water falling in the boat whatever um, and and I think that this is just a super cool idea I think that uh, you know for for what what I like to do you know with all the hunting stuff and everything this little deal could be um, super handy one of the challenges i have is uh where i clean my deer at the ranch um it used to be like right on the edge of the cattle pens because we have big um uh, iron like pipe iron gates with um arches overhead and that's where we strung our uh our winch through so we can hang the deer and the problem there is like 
all right, let's say like I need to set my knife down for whatever reason, uh, maybe to wash my hands or I, I gotta get the hose or whatever. Um, there's not really a good place for me to set my knife. Like it's a cow pen. So like everything, you know, there's like a high level of cow manure in the area. Uh, there's not a clean place, clean area to set it. Uh, and with the pipe rail fence, you know, it's, they're rounded because they're pipes. So I can't set it on pipes. Um, and I can just see this being coming in handy because just wrap the sucker, you know, around the pipe. And then I'll be able to take my knife, boom. And my knife's a little dirty right now, just ignore that. Uh, and I'll pop that sucker on there. And that way I'll be able to keep it up, out of the way, um, clean, sanitary, more sanitary anyway. So, so I'm excited to take this little sucker out with me because I just think that that's going to be super handy whether you're wrapping it to a pipe rail fence or a tree or you know the side of your uh, UTV or whatever you, you take out with you whenever you're hunting. Um, however you just you clean your animals, think that this is just going to add another level of utility of just being able to pop it on there and then stick your knife to it and and keep things keep things clean and, and out of the way. So overall, uh, I think this thing is really cool. You know, I, I'm not the biggest fisherman in the world, so I don't know that I personally would go out and, and spend 75 bucks on one of these, but if I was, if I did fish all the time, I think it would be worth it to have something I could depend on you know, something I, I know I could keep out of the way, um, but always available should I need it. Um, I just think there's a lot of utility with this little thing and it would be worth worth the investment, but you know, it's up for you. It's up to you, to each person to decide whatever you think. Um, you know, maybe it's a little rich for your blood, maybe not, but maybe the convenience of just having uh, having this stuff magnetized to the side of your kayak or um, to the side of your boat or, or your center console or whatever would be worth it to you. But, or maybe just on your hat, you know, like I would imagine it gets old losing toenail clippers or pocket knives or scissors or whatever. So I can definitely see how this would be. I think that the Scott over at Lead Rig's got a really cool thing here and um, Pretty soon you're going to be seeing these in, in all the sporting goods stores. So, you know, go check them out. It's uh, lidrig.com. It's spelled just like just like this, lidrig.com. And, uh, you know, reach out to them on Instagram. Give them a follow, uh, at lidrig. That, tell them we sent you. They'll, he'll be uh, excited to know that he didn't send us this for nothing. So, that's all I got. Um, super cool little little tool. Definitely go check them out, and um, yeah, we'll catch up to you next time. This is Sportsman's Junction, signing out. Have a good uh, Wednesday.